Hey you guys, this is Wacko Lab, and this week I'm going to show you how to build a Lego electric pole. Alright, these are going to be the pieces you're going to need here. You are going to need uh, 15 of these 2x2 two two round bricks, and brown round bricks, and then you're going to need two more of them, but silver. And then you're going to need this um this probably uh smooth with a slight dome piece here for uh, two by two and then you're gonna need this one by two with the handlebar on it and you're gonna need this technic piece pole it is an x pole too so here you go it's about five inches long I'm not sure how to specify the measurements for Technic pieces since I do not use them that much. But anyway, that is about 5 inches. And this is a 1x4, uh, not 1x4, I'm sorry, a 1x8 flat piece. I'll show you that in comparison with that Technic piece. There, that should give you the basic size of the Technic piece. Anyway, and then you're going to need three 1x1 one one clips. All right. So I'm going to push this aside. Alright, as you probably already know, I'm going to start off with all 15 of these 2x2 um, two two round pieces. And you're just going to shimmy them in the pole. As you can see, there's a little hole in them for that X. You have to just get it just right. And I am probably going to fast forward through this. So, sorry if there's going to be a little skip in the clip. I should be stop fast forwarding by now. And uh, actually what you're going to do is only use 13 of them for here because you have to leave two of these for the top. So, um, you're just going to put these two together like that and you're going to use that for the top so you can just set that aside. Anyway, you and the pull, that was the longest technique piece pull I had. If you have a longer one, you can go ahead and use that. But just make sure it's kind of in the middle, not sticking out from the bottom or the top. Alright. <clears throat> now you're going to take this 1x8 piece and put it on the top like that. Then you're going to take your handlebar brick put it like that. Now you're going to get the rest of these round pieces and put it on top. Now you're going to get your clips, two of your clips, and then you're going to put it right here. Like that. And now you're going to build your train. Alright, this is how you build your electric pole, okay? And that's pretty much it. Now you're going to build your transformer. What you're going to do is you're going <clears> to... <throat> Put the two silver, um, two by two, round, just like that, on top of each other. And then you're going to get this um, piece right here, flat, smooth piece. It's a slight dome. You're going to put that right underneath it, like that. Now you're going to get your last clip, put it on like that. Then you're going to get your electric pole. You're going to snap it right in the middle like that. Okay. Shoot. It actually holds on pretty well. I just happen to knock it off in. My camera will not show all of this right now, but at the end of the video where I tell you to please be sure to tell friends and subscribe, um, you will see a better picture of it with line with power lines on it. But anyway, you can always also put another um, uh, cross beam here to make two of them for like a phone line if you want. Most of the, uh, most of the power poles these days have phone line, uh, the cross beam for a phone line, and then this one is normally for the power. But I just wanted to make a pretty basic one for the tutorial. But I'm sure you could um, make your own, uh, kind of tweak it a little bit and make two transformers if you want it. Transformers are usually just uh, knock down the voltage to run into the house so you don't have a million volts going to a lamp in your house and explode so that's pretty much just to knock down the power but anyway um thanks for watching